Greetings, history enthusiasts. Welcome back to Robot Ray Channel. Today, we embark on a fascinating exploration of the evolution of infantry tactics throughout history. Join us as we unveil the top 10 revolutionary advancements that have reshaped the way battles are fought. Let's dive into the captivating world of warfare tactics. Tactic number 10, the Phalanx Formation. The Phalanx Formation, a hallmark of ancient Greek warfare, represented a significant evolution in infantry tactics during antiquity. Developed in the 7th century BCE, the Phalanx was a tightly packed formation of heavily armored infantry known as hoplites. These soldiers formed a shield wall by overlapping their large round shields, creating a nearly impenetrable barrier. Armed with spears called sarissas and short swords, the hoplites moved in unison, presenting a formidable front to their enemies. The success of the phalanx relied on discipline, coordination, and the strength of the collective unit. This formation allowed for both offensive and defensive strategies, with the soldiers working together to advance or hold their ground. The effectiveness of the phalanx was demonstrated in battles like the Battle of Marathon and the Peloponnesian War, showcasing its enduring influence on ancient Greek warfare. The concept of a disciplined, heavily armored infantry formation has left a lasting legacy, influencing the evolution of military tactics for centuries to come. Tactic number 9. The Roman Legion. The Roman Legion, a key component of the Roman military machine, marked a significant evolution in infantry tactics during the Roman Republic and Empire. Established around the 4th century BCE, the Roman Legion was a versatile and disciplined infantry formation that played a crucial role in the success of the Roman military campaigns. Consisting of heavily armed soldiers known as legionaries, the Legion was characterized by its flexible organization, tactical adaptability, and mastery of engineering. Each legion typically comprised around 5,000 to 6,000 soldiers organized into cohorts, centuries, and maniples. The soldiers were armed with short swords, gladi, rectangular shields, scuda, and javelins, pila. Roman tactics emphasized discipline, training, and the ability to form various formations on the battlefield. The legion's success was attributed to its ability to maneuver effectively, employing tactics such as the testudo, tortoise, formation for protection against missiles and the triplex aces for a flexible deployment in battle. The Roman legion's enduring impact on military tactics is evident in its influence on later formations and strategies, serving as a model for many armies throughout history. Tactic number 8. Pike and Shot Formation. The pike and shot formation emerged during the Renaissance and represented a significant evolution in infantry tactics, combining the strengths of pikemen and musketeers. Developed in the 16th century, this formation sought to capitalize on the strengths of both pikes, with their long reach and defensive capabilities, and firearms, with their ranged firepower. The pike was a long spear that provided an effective defense against cavalry charges, while the musket or arquebus offered infantry the ability to engage enemies at a distance. The pike and shot formation became a dominant force on European battlefields during the 16th and 17th centuries, notably during the Thirty Years' War. This tactic required disciplined coordination between pikemen and musketeers, with the pikes forming a protective hedge against cavalry, while the muskets provided cover fire. The success of this combined arms approach revolutionized infantry warfare, emphasizing the importance of versatility and adaptability in the face of evolving battlefield dynamics. The pike and shot formation influenced military tactics until the widespread adoption of more advanced firearms and tactics in later centuries. Tactic number 7. The Square Formation. The Square Formation, a defensive infantry tactic, gained prominence during the 18th and 19th centuries as a response to the threat posed by cavalry charges. This formation was particularly utilized during the Napoleonic Wars and other conflicts of the era. The square was a defensive arrangement in which infantry formed a hollow square with bayonets pointing outward, presenting a nearly impenetrable defense against cavalry attacks. The soldiers in the formation could pivot to face any direction, providing a flexible defense against charging horsemen. The square formation was highly effective in neutralizing the traditional advantage of cavalry on the battlefield. By forming a compact and disciplined square, infantry could withstand cavalry charges and protect themselves from being broken up by the momentum of the cavalry assault. While vulnerable to artillery and infantry attacks, 
The square formation exemplified the importance of adapting infantry tactics to counter specific threats on the battlefield, showcasing the ongoing evolution of military strategy and the dynamic relationship between different branches of the armed forces. Tactic number 6. Trench Warfare. Trench Warfare, a defining feature of World War I, marked a radical evolution in infantry tactics in response to the technological advancements in weaponry. The trench system was characterized by a network of deep, fortified ditches stretching for miles across the Western Front. Soldiers on both sides took shelter in these trenches, seeking protection from the devastating firepower of machine guns, artillery, and new chemical weapons. The trenches became a grueling and static battlefield where infantry faced harsh conditions, including mud, disease, and constant threat of enemy attacks. Trench warfare required soldiers to adapt to a new style of combat, characterized by defensive strategies and the use of elaborate trench networks. Soldiers lived in close proximity to the front lines, engaging in periodic attacks and counterattacks. The introduction of barbed wire, machine guns, and artillery made traditional frontal assaults perilous, leading to a prolonged and often brutal stalemate. The development of new tactics such as trench raids and the use of tunnels underscored the continuous evolution of infantry strategies in response to the challenges posed by the modern battlefield. Tactic number 5. Blitzkrieg Tactics. Blitzkrieg, meaning, lightning war, in German, represented a revolutionary evolution in infantry tactics during World War II. Developed and employed by the German military, particularly in the early stages of the conflict, Blitzkrieg tactics emphasized rapid and coordinated movements of infantry, armor, and air support to create a highly mobile and overwhelming force. The strategy aimed to bypass enemy strongholds, encircle opposing forces, and exploit weaknesses in the enemy's defenses, leading to swift victories. Blitzkrieg tactics were characterized by the effective integration of tanks, infantry, and air support, allowing German forces to achieve unprecedented success in the early campaigns of the war. The invasion of Poland in 1939 and the subsequent campaigns in France and the Low Countries showcased the speed and decisiveness of Blitzkrieg. The tactics involved the innovative use of panzer divisions, close air support, and radio communication to maintain fluidity on the battlefield. The success of Blitzkrieg tactics had a profound impact on military strategy, influencing the development of mechanized warfare and prompting other nations to reassess and adapt their infantry tactics in the face of this dynamic and highly effective approach. Tactic number 4. Guerrilla Warfare. Guerrilla warfare represents a distinctive evolution in infantry tactics, characterized by unconventional and irregular methods used by small, mobile units to harass and wear down a larger, more conventional military force. This form of warfare has been employed throughout history by various resistance movements, insurgencies, and revolutionary forces. Guerrilla tactics often involve hit-and-run attacks, ambushes, and the use of the local terrain to gain a strategic advantage. The ability to blend into the civilian population, coupled with a focus on flexibility and adaptability, makes guerrilla warfare a formidable challenge for conventional armies. Notable examples of successful guerrilla warfare include the tactics employed by the Viet Cong during the Vietnam War and the Afghan Mujahideen against the Soviet Union in the 1980s. Guerrilla warfare often aims to erode the morale and resources of a larger, more technologically advanced opponent over time. The success of guerrilla tactics underscores the importance of asymmetrical warfare, where innovation, local knowledge, and a deep understanding of the environment play critical roles in countering conventional military superiority. Tactic number 3. Fire and Movement. Fire and Movement, a tactical concept widely employed in modern infantry warfare, represents a significant evolution in tactics that emerged during the 20th century. This approach involves a coordinated effort between soldiers to provide covering fire while others advance, enhancing the mobility and effectiveness of infantry units. It relies on the combination of suppressive fire to deter enemy action and the movement of troops to secure ground or close in on the adversary. The goal is to maintain continuous pressure on the enemy, disrupting their ability to respond effectively. This tactic became prominent during World War II and has since become a fundamental principle of infantry training. Fire and movement emphasizes teamwork, communication, and the ability to adapt to dynamic battlefield conditions. 
It allows infantry units to overcome obstacles, such as open terrain or fortified positions, by using a combination of firepower and maneuverability. The success of fire and movement lies in its ability to synchronize the actions of individual soldiers within a unit, creating a cohesive and efficient force capable of responding swiftly to the challenges of modern warfare. Tactic number 2. Urban Warfare Urban Warfare, the engagement of military forces in built-up areas, represents a distinctive evolution in infantry tactics shaped by the challenges posed by densely populated environments. With the increasing urbanization of the modern world, military forces have been compelled to adapt their tactics to navigate the complexities of cityscapes. Urban warfare often involves close-quarters combat, ambushes, and the need for precision and restraint to minimize civilian casualties. Tactics include room clearing, street-to-street -street fighting, and the use of specialized units trained for the unique challenges posed by urban environments. The shift towards urban warfare gained prominence in the latter half of the 20th century, with conflicts such as the Battle of Stalingrad during World War II and the street fighting in Hue City during the Vietnam War serving as notable examples. More recent examples include the battles in Fallujah during the Iraq War and the urban conflict in Aleppo during the Syrian Civil War. Infantry tactics for urban warfare emphasize the importance of maintaining control over key structures, understanding the intricacies of the terrain, and employing a combination of infantry, armored vehicles, and air support to secure objectives while minimizing the impact on civilian populations. Tactic number 1. Modern Combined Arms Tactics Modern combined arms tactics represent a comprehensive evolution in infantry tactics that emerged in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. This approach integrates various military assets, including infantry, armor, artillery, and air support, to create a versatile and synergistic force capable of addressing a wide range of battlefield challenges. The concept of combined arms emphasizes the collaboration and coordination between different branches of the military to achieve strategic and tactical objectives. One prominent example of modern combined arms tactics is the integration of infantry with advanced technology and communication systems. Soldiers equipped with state-of-the-art gear and communication devices can collaborate effectively with armored units, artillery, and air support, allowing for swift and decisive action on the battlefield. The use of precision-guided munitions, drones, and advanced surveillance technologies further enhances the effectiveness of modern combined arms tactics. This evolution reflects the ongoing efforts to optimize military capabilities by leveraging the strengths of various components within a unified and integrated approach, demonstrating the adaptability and innovation inherent in contemporary infantry tactics. And that concludes our countdown of the top 10 evolution of infantry tactics throughout history. We hope this journey has provided you with a deeper understanding of how warfare strategies have evolved over time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Thank you for joining us at Robot Ray Channel, where history comes alive.